Hello and welcome to the channel. A lot has been said about the United States and Nigeria relations since President-elect Bola Hakmet Sinyibu was declared winner of the February 25th presidential election. Only recently, Sinyibu had quite a talk with the United States Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, days before the U.S. had imposed visa restrictions on some no notable Nigerian election riggers. And now, President Joe Biden is sending a nine-man delegation team to Nigeria, waiting this up. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. U.S. President Biden sends nine-man delegation to attend Tinubu's inauguration. U.S. President Joe Biden has announced a nine-man team to attend the inauguration of Nigeria's president-elect Bola Tinubu in Abuja, Nigeria, on May 29. I am honored, tweeted Jude Devermont on Monday evening. Mr. Devermont is the special assistant to U.S. President Joe Biden and senior director for African Affairs in the National Security Council as he expressed the sentiments on being a part of the presidential delegation that will travel to Nigeria in the coming days. On Monday, 22nd May, Mr. Biden announced a nine-person presidential delegation to represent him and America to the Federal Republic of Nigeria to attend the inauguration of His Excellency Bola Ahmed Sinyubu on 29 May 2023 in Abuja, Nigeria, led by the Marcia Forge, who is the 18th U.S. Secretary of the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development. Our leading the delegation is noteworthy because she is a past chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. She served as a legislator in the U.S. Congress 110th to 117th, 2007-2021 a period of 14 years, representing the Democratic Party. From the U.S. Department of State's foreign mission, the U.S. Embassy in Nigeria, David Green, charged the affairs will as the top diplomat of an embassy that was established in the host country in 1960, justifiably be a part of the delegation. Mr. Biden pledged to accelerate high-level visits by senior administration officials to Africa at the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit, he convened last December. Another nominee is Sydney Kamla Gadov, a congresswoman whose constituency is the 37th district in the state of California. She is also a member of Mr. Biden's Democratic Party. Appointed on 28 December 2021 is an attorney who Mr. Biden appointed in her current position to lead the U.S. federal government's efforts to assist American businesses entering or expanding into international markets, enforce fair trade policies, promote travel and tourism to the United States and U.S. products and services overseas, provide in-depth trade analysis, develop strategies that will shape the future of international trade, and engage in commercial diplomacy across the globe. This is why Marisa Lago, U.S. Undersecretary of Commerce for International Trade, U.S. Department of Commerce is a laudable pick, for Mr. Biden. U.S. Marine Corps General Michael Langley is the sixth commanding general of the Combatant Command, U.S. African Command, commonly referred to as AFRICOM. He started this position last August. He has the responsibility for all U.S. military operations in Africa and in the maritime waters that surround the continent. Since starting his tenure, he has focused his attention on face-to-face -face engagement, said AFRICOM's public affairs. He emphasized that we will support African-led efforts to work toward political solutions to costly conflicts, increasing terrorist activity, and humanitarian crises such as those in Cameroon, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Ethiopia, Mozambique, Nigeria, Somalia, and the Sahel, and invest in local and international peace building and peacekeeping to prevent new conflicts from emerging. For Ina Ebong, Director, U.S. Trade and Development Agency, USTDA, this will not be our first visit to Nigeria. 
She was there in October 2022 when she was promoting Mr. Biden's new approach, the U.S. strategy towards sub-Saharan Africa and the Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment, PG2, on Nigeria's energy transition plan. The U.S. Department of State's Africa Bureau's Assistant Secretary of State, Mary Fee, will also join the delegation. Monde Muyangwa, who was appointed by Mr. Biden to be the Assistant Director for the Bureau for Africa at the U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID, and has decades-long experience in U.S.-African relations, will be a valuable complement to the delegation. The U.S. is the largest foreign investor in Nigeria, with U.S. foreign direct investment concentrated largely in the petroleum and mining and wholesale trade sectors. At $2.2 billion in 2017, Nigeria is the second largest U.S. export destination in sub-Saharan Africa, according to the State Department. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, President Muhammadu Buhari said yesterday he had no doubt that the incoming government under the leadership of the president-elect, Asiwa Jubola Tinibu, will sustain the tempo of his administration. Speaking at the Presidential Fleet Review 2023 at the Naval Dockyard Limited, Victoria Highland, Lagos, Buhari said he was pleased with the military's combat readiness. He said he had confidence that the president-elect, Bola Tinubu would continue to provide crucial support to the Nigerian Navy, maintaining the positive trajectory achieved during his tenure. The presidential fleet review will possibly be the last by him in his capacity as president and commander-in-chief. He expressed immense satisfaction with the array of naval assets on display and the combat readiness of the Nigerian military, recognizing the nation's pride in the na in the Navy's numerous achievements during his eight year administration, the President stated, I have no doubt that the incoming administration of President elect Bola Hakmetinubu will sustain the current tempo of my administration in giving the Navy necessary support to effectively carry out its assigned tasks. My best wishes to our Navy for protecting our maritime domain and the economic prosperity of Nigeria. As I leave office on May 29, I wish you all fair winds, onwards together, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.